Hello everybody, this is Jurassic Adventures and today we'll be doing another repaint. This repaint is going to be the Pachycephalosaurus from the Lost World Jurassic Park. The first thing we want to do to this custom is actually uh, cut down the joints just a little bit so the paint can go in there and it can retain this articulation. So I'll demonstrate that right now. You take a pretty sharp craft knife and you want to start cutting into just this top layer of the joint here to get enough clearance for paint. So now this joint is done. And as you can see, there's a little gap between there. That's what we want. So that will allow the, just the joint to not rub with paint. And you want to do this to both sides of the joint as well, because otherwise it will rub when you move it on the underside as well. So this is all done. Uh, I'll cut down the joints and everything. And so um, now it's ready for painting. So I just wiped this figure down with rubbing alcohol. I always find that that works a little bit better to get sort of the uh, hand greases and whatever uh, from manufacturing just off the figure entirely and uh, get it ready for paint and so the paint will stick properly. Now it's time to prime the figure. I'm using this one shot primer in the sand flesh color and it's through the airbrush. But um, that should work nicely because the Pachycephalosaurus is tan throughout. So let's get into it. The priming is now done, so now I can move on to other things. The next step of this repaint is to paint some cream white on the underbelly. The next step of this repaint is to build up some of those darker tan and yellow tones and I will be doing this with some dark yellow. I realized after doing this yellow it is a bit too uh, yellow for the Pachycephalosaurus so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just tone it down a bit more by dry brushing over it. So the Packy might not look too much different uh, on camera, but I did completely redo all the colors on it. I made it more tan and gray because that's how it is in the film. And I think it looks a lot more accurate and better now. So um, yeah, what I did is I basically just put on like a gray tan all over it. And then I dry brushed it with a couple more tan colors and it looks way better than that desert yellow. And so now we can move on to different steps of the repaint. All right, so I did a lot of steps to this thing, and you may not notice, uh, really, because it looks pretty similar on camera, but, um, off camera, it looks way more screen accurate to the actual Pachycephalosaurus. I've been painting on various layers of dry brushing tans and grays and, uh, whites and, and just, uh, getting it to that proper color, uh, to where I can now go in and do some of the other stuff. So this is the brown we're going to be using. It looks really dark on camera, but it's not that dark to um, do the sort of brown back. I'm now done with all the dark blue teal color on the Pachycephalosaurus, and I also did a little bit of the nails and the beak even and did a little bit of wash to fade the beak in. Uh, just a couple little details I thought I should do before it gets too late in the repaint. Uh, but now I'm just gonna do a, a bunch of little like different scalings and stuff and just little details to make this thing really pop. As you can see on this figure, I did a lot of little uh, detailing and uh, little highlights on scales in certain areas uh, on the blue portion of this figure. But now I'm going to start doing the small details like the eye. For the eye, I'm going to be using an orangey brown uh, sort of color to get that dark eye that the Packy has. And then I'm probably going to do a black pupil and then a little white uh, dot for the eye reflection.
That's about it for this repaint. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. This is Jurassic Adventures, and I'll see you in the next video.